Hi there again, everybody, and uh, welcome back to 1949. The uh, Giants here taking on the Cubs. Giants are still in first place, of course. Uh, 25 and 9, Cubs at uh, 10 and 22, not going to do much. Dewey Adkins, who is yet to win, um, leads this off and uh, throws a ball there to Willard Marshall. The next pitch is uh, inside and low, 2 and 0 the count. Man, uh, so uh, off camera in between these games, we had a real big one. The uh, Dodgers at the Pirates. Um, now there's a strike there to Marshall, two and one the count. And that's a fastball low, three and one. Uh, Dodgers at the Pirates, and uh, it was uh, the Pirates who uh, managed to throw a uh, uh, no hitter against the Dodgers. Believe it or not, so the uh, 1949 Dodgers, one of the uh, greatest teams of all time offensively, as Marshall fouls that one off, uh, were no hit uh, by the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates in a really remarkable game. Next pitch, and uh, it's uh, Marshall who hits that one. He hits it straight over to uh, Verbon, the second baseman, gets it, throws from his knees, not in time. Marshall fast enough to beat that out, and here comes uh, Bill Rigney. So that was a big uh, no-hitter there in that game for the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, they won that one 7 nothing, and uh, it's not that we put out a uh, quiet or a uh, subdued uh, lineup for the Brooklyn Dodgers. They had all of their uh, big hitters out, and uh, nobody could get a hit. Bill Rigney bunts that one that was back to Atkins, who had to throw to first with it, and uh, Marshall goes up to second. Here's Sid Gordon. So if you weren't a believer in the Giants, you better be believing now. Gordon hits that into center field, lands in front of Andy Pafko. Marshall goes over to third, runners on at first and third now for the Giants, top of the first. Bobby Thompson up there now, hitting 286. And uh, there's a pop up outside third, and uh, can't get that 0 2. Now the count on Thompson quickly. And there's another foul back. 0 and 2 remains. And there's a breaking ball high, 1 and 2. And uh, as far as the Dodgers are concerned, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do to turn this around, but it's going to be rough. 2 and 2 the count now on Thompson. That's heading to center field again, and uh, that's going to be base hit scores 1. And um, Pafco throws to third base, and it is offline, not in time. Cliff Chambers is the person who threw the uh, no-header. Ch Cliff Chambers for the Pirates, who's now 6-1. and one. Um, I almost didn't start him in the game. That's the real funny part. Um, and uh, here's a ground ball over to uh, uh, the shortstop, Smalley. And the question is, do you throw home or you try for the double play? We're going to try for the double play. Second and then on to first. And so Johnny Mice hits into an um, inning-ending double play. We go to the bottom of the first. Uh, the Cubs only give up one to the Giants. And here is uh, Hank Edwards. Sheldon Jones on the mound for New York. Uh, 2.70 ERA, 4-3 and three on the season. 1-1 one and one is the count to him. Edwards up there, Hank Edwards hitting uh, uh, 313, I think it was. Uh, hits a little uh, comebacker to Jones. There's the first one away. Herman Reich now hitting 316, takes a ball and a strike. One and one the count. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I've had a no hitter in Diamond Mine. Three and one the count on Reich, and that's fouled back full count now on him. And that's ball four that just misses. So there's a runner on first base now for Pena's Lowry. What I can tell you about the no-hitter is that um, there's nothing that the game does that's fancy or special to call attention to it, right? It just ends. There's nothing about he's throwing a special one or anything like that. None of, the, none of that stuff came up at all in the play-by-play. -play. Lowry takes a ball. And there's another one in the dirt. Two and uh, oh, the count. A little ground ball at the middle. Rigney has it. Steps on uh, second base. Throws over to first for the double play. And we go to the top of the second. It's uh, Whitey Lockman here for the Giants. Lockman fouls one back. 0-1. And, and that's swung on a miss. 0-2 the count. And that's inside for ball 1-2. and two, And that's fouled away. It's still 1-2 and two on Whitey. Pop up real high. Out of play. 1-2 and two still. That's in the dirt. 2-2 two two the score, the count. And it's a full count now on Lockman. There's ball four. So Dewey Adkins loses him. He's given up 13 walks so far this season. And here is Walker Cooper. There's a base hit to left field. Cooper going after the first pitch. It says here aggressively going after the first pitch. I'll tell you, if you play enough 1949, you know it's not really that out of the ordinary. We've had a lot of guys going after first pitches. Buddy Kerr comes up. And I'll tell you more about that uh, Dodgers-Pirates game as Kerr takes a strike. Um, in the ninth inning with two outs, Jackie Robinson came up for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Chambers had given up only one walk, and only one other um, player had reached. It was on an air. And uh, Robinson was up there, and he walked. I can't remember if it was on four or five pitches, but he walked pretty quickly. Um, and uh, that brought up uh, Duke Snyder, who uh, proceeded to uh, hit a ground ball uh, with a full count. And uh, that was uh, the end of it, and that's how that one ended. So uh, walking Robinson, probably a good idea, since he was one of the few players who would probably have had a chance to uh, break up the no-hitter. 
And uh, here's a, a ground ball uh, down to third base. Uh, Ramazzotti has it, uh, throws over to Verban for one, onto Reich at first for the double play. He'll bring up Sheldon Jones now with two outs in the uh, top of the second. Not exactly e- uh, Tinker to Evers to chance, um, but um, so it is. There's a strike in there to Jones and a ball high. One and one the count. That's fouled away. It's one and two. And there's a drive to right field. Edwards has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. It's Andy Pafko here for the Cubs. Andy takes a uh, ball high. One and no the count. And there's a strike. One and one now the count. Andy Pafko swings and misses a one. It's one and two. And that's a little uh, ball hit over to center field, and that's sinking in on Thompson. That'll be a base hit. So uh, we can see that uh, in this one we won't have any no-hit action. Here's Roy Smalley now, runner on at first base. Um, One and one now the count on Smalley. That's a high throw back to first. Still one and one. There's a bouncer to second base, and uh, yes, Bill Rigney does it, grabs it, uh, tags the runner, then throws to first for the out two away. Emil Verbon now comes up, uh, hitting 197, and this is where the Cubs lineup really struggles. And there's a fair ball over the bag at third base, and uh, that's into the corner. Verbon winds up with a double. I spoke too soon. Ramazzotti comes up, hitting 200. There's a ball low, and that's high. Again, a ball two, and no the count now on Bob. It's that one down to second base, and uh, Rigney grabs that, throws over to first for the out. In fact, they're saying here that the uh, umpire almost uh, was hit by that, and he almost blocked the player, but uh, they got it figured out in the end. We go to the top of the third. Here's Willard Marshall. one nothing Giants. Close game, but not really that close. Um, you get the feeling something's going to happen here for New York. And uh, Marshall, the 1-1 one, one count on him, sticks that one out again to center field for a base hit. I can't tell you how many base hits the uh, Giants have had out to center field. I don't know if it's Andy Pafko's range or what's going on. Bill Rigney now sacrificing again, and he misses that one. 0-1 the count, and then he fouls that one off his foot. It's 0-2. And, and uh, there's a ball inside. 1-2 and two the count on Bill. And 1-2 uh, and two the count remains. Swung on, to foul tipped, and uh, catcher Nov- Novotny uh, holds on to that for the strikeout. So one away, and here's Sid Gordon again, takes a strike. And uh, there's a uh, check swing, and he went around 0 oh, 2. There's a ball 1 and 2 now on Gordon. And uh, that's low 2 and 2 now on Sid. That is way outside, and it's a full count on Gordon. There's a grounder wide at first base, and uh, that was a uh, Reich with it. Uh, flips around and flips it over to um, Atkins uh, for the play at first. Marshall goes over to second. There's two away now, and here's Bobby Thompson again. He had that uh, RBI single in the uh, first inning. Takes a strike, and then uh, fouls one off. Oh, and two the count quickly. And there's a ball inside. Six home runs this season so far for Thompson. And he takes strike three on the outside corner, and we go to the bottom of the third inning. Rube Novotny up there now, and uh, he this is his third at-bat of the season. There's a ball on him, and then a ground ball over to Kerr. Shortstop throws to first, one away, and here is Dewey Adkins, who takes the strike. A little ground ball to short again. Kerr has it on to first, two gone, and here is Hank Edwards now, takes a ball. And there's a ball high, two and no the count on Hank. Has grounded over first base, past Mize, and down into the corner. And he winds up on second with a double. So there's been three hits in the game for the Cubs, one a single, and then there were those two doubles in the corner. And here's Herman Reich, and he hits one deep to center field. Thompson goes back on that one, reaches up and makes the catch wide over there by the Ivy. We are at the top of the fourth inning, and it's uh, Johnny Mize. Strike in there to Mize, 0-1 oh, the count on Johnny. And that's a ball, 1-1 one and one on Mize. That's high, but he doesn't swing. It's 2-1, and one, and that's outside, 3-1 and one the count on Johnny. And that's wide, and that's ball four. That will bring up Whitey Lockman. So runner on at first base. Here's Lockman. Foul ball left side out of play, 0-1. That ball is low now, that pitch rather, 1-1. One and, one. and there's a strike in the inside corner. It's 1-2. and two. And that's hit to right field. And uh, Edwards uh, sees it hang up for him, and he slides a little bit, makes the catch, one away. Walker Cooper now uh, hits a ground ball over to third base. And uh, Ramazzotti grabs that one, throws on to first, not in time. They're going to call that, I think, a base hit. Yeah, that's a base hit for Cooper. Hit number six for the Giants. Runner is now in first and second for Buddy Kerr. Kerr uh, fouls one back. It's uh, 0 and 1 on him, hitting 197. And that's low and inside. 1 and 1 to count now on Buddy. And that's just low. It's 2 and 1 on him. Ground ball over to left side. Ramazzotti on to Vermont at uh, second for one and on to first for the double play. So the Cubs have uh, turned three double plays here in only four innings. And it's Penis Lowry here in the bottom of the fourth. Pop up and just out of play. Cooper can't get to it. And uh, there's a ground ball over to Gordon. Third baseman throws the first one away. Andy Pafko up now. And uh, takes the strike. Owen won the count on Andy. And uh, there's one hit over to the, down the left field line, and uh, it gets uh, past Lockman, and it's into that corner again for a double. So another double here for the Cubs. They've been doubling all over the park, and that brings up Roy Smalley with Pafko on at second base. Only one out. 
There's a strike in there quickly to Smalley. 0 and 1 the count, and he swings and misses at the next one. It's 0 and 2. Outside for a ball, 1 and 2 the count now on Roy. There's a little small roller, slow roller. Rigney has it, throws over to first for the out. Pafka moves up. Two outs, and here's Emil for Bond. Raban already with a double in this one, one for one, takes another ball, two and no the count, and there's a strike. It's two and one now on Verban. That's on the outside corner for a strike. It's two and two, and there's a fly ball over to left field. Lockman has that for the out, and we go to the top of the fifth inning. Pretty fast-moving ball game here. Sheldon Jones, uh, the pitcher for the Giants, comes up, and quickly has two strikes on him from Dewey Atkins. Oh, and two the count. That just misses one and two. And that's on the inside corner for strike three. Third strike out of the game, number eight of the season for Adkins. And here's Willard Marshall, and he takes a ball. And uh, there's a pop-up. Ramazzotti has that one. Third baseman grabs it for the out, two away. Bill Rigney comes up, and uh, he takes a ball inside, 1-0. and There's a foul ball. It's 1-1 one one now in Rigney. Ground ball left side. Ramazzotti has it, throws to first. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And there's a strike right away from Jones to Ramazzotti, and uh, then he hits one to center field. Thompson has that for the first out, one away. Rube Novotny up there takes the ball high, 1-0. and oh. It's fouled back, 1-1. One one. Novotny no hits so far this season. 2-1 and one is the count on him. And that's Chase low, 2-2. Two and two. And there's a ground ball right side. As soon as I said it, he got it. Base hit for Novotny as that gets through into right field. And uh, he's the runner on at first base here for Dewey Adkins. There's a throw to first. Navani's slow. We're not doing anything with him. There's a ball high to Adkins. There's, he hits one to center field. Thompson runs back, grabs it for the out. Two away. Hank Edwards now takes a ball. 1-0 the count on him. Two away. And uh, that one gets away from the catcher at Cooper. That's going to be a wild pitch on Jones. And Navani able to make it just barely to second base as he's chugging as hard as he can. And one catcher can't throw out the other. And uh, so the Giants will walk Edwards. That brings up Herman Reich with uh, runners on first and second and two outs, bottom of the fifth. Reich takes a uh, ball and then hits one deep over the left field, uh, but uh, not deep enough. Lockman, the left fielder, is there for the out. We go to the top of the six. Sid Gordon up there for the Giants. And, uh, you know, late May game in Chicago, you think the wind might be blowing out. Not today. One and two, the count on Gordon. Two and two now on him. And there's a ball low, 3-2 and two on Gordon, full count, and that's up and in, and that's walk number three given up by Atkins, and that'll bring up Bobby Thompson. Not the way you want to uh, start that off here for uh, Atkins. 1-1 uh, one and one the count quickly on Thompson. And there's strike two, hits the corner, 1-2. and two. There's a ball, 2-2 two and two the count on Bobby. It's low and outside, full count now on Bobby. And that's popped up right side, Reich uh, goes over and grabs that. Herman's got it, one away, and here's Johnny Mize. That's hit over the left field. Lowry has it for the out. Two away pretty quick. And here's Whitey Lockman, who takes a strike. A little pop-up, and Novotny's got it, the catcher. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Still one nothing Giants. And here's Penis Lowry up there, who takes a ball inside. And then pops one up foul. 244 this season for Lowry, at least since he's been with the Cubs. Um, I'm sorry, he started the season with the Cubs, right? I, I, it gets confusing to me. Hits that one down to the, uh, was that the left side? Yes, down the left field line. And that's going to be a double past uh, Gordon. Lockman finally goes over and gets it, and that'll bring up Andy Pafko. So no outs here in the uh, bottom of the six, And uh, we really need to have Pafko swing away. I was thinking about maybe bunting, but uh, I don't think he's good at that. There's a ball to Pafko and another one inside. Two and no the count. Hitter's delight, and that's popped up out of play. Gordon going after it, but it's too deep. That one's fouled back to the swing, uh, to the screen, and uh, two and two the count, and that was inside. And uh, Jones missed the uh, target, but Pafko chased anyway, a little bit nervous. And uh, Pafko had been two for two, now two for three today. One away, and here's Roy Smalley. Pops up the first pitch. Mize runs after that one, dives just out of reach. 0 and 1, the, the count. 1 and 1 on Smalley. On the outside corner, 1 and 2. Ground ball to Rigney, and that's under his glove. That's going to be a base hit. And uh, Thompson has it, and here comes Lowry home, and he scores the tying run. 1 1 now the score. With Smalley on at first, Emil Verban up now. Cubs trying to make something happen. That's a ball to him. Throw to first, nothing doing. 1-0 the count. And there's a ground ball up the box for a base hit, and that goes right past Jones. And uh, neither of those, uh, uh, neither the shortstop nor the second baseman can get to it. We're going to hold uh, Smalley on at second. And here comes Bob Ramazzotti. And now the question is, Jimmy, do you bump with him to get to Novotny? Uh, maybe we will try that, actually. Let's see what happens. And uh, Ramazzotti bunts one foul, 0-1. That's up and in, 1-1 now, the count on Bob. It's inside, 2-1. and 
That's bunted finally towards the mound, and uh, Jones has it, goes over to Rigney covering her first. Both runners move up. Runners on a second and third now with two outs for Rube Novotny, who is now one for four this season. There's a ball inside to Rube, and another one high, 2-0. and oh. Two and one as he swung at that one and missed. There's a little ground ball down to Mize. First baseman has it, goes to the bag, and we go to the top of the seventh. So that's what happens when he bunt. <laughs> Walker Cooper comes up. Walker Cooper up uh, leading off top of the seventh, takes the strike, and then a ball. And that's foul back. One and two. Fly ball right field. Edwards has that for the out. One away. And here's Buddy Kerr. Takes a curve high and fouls one back. One and one on Buddy. And that's popped up. Shallow right center. Pafco center fielder has that. Two away. Sheldon Jones now. There's a breaking ball in tight on him. And there's a swing and a miss at the pitch that's low, one and one. And there's another fly ball over to center field. Pafko's got that for the out. We go to the uh, bottom of the seventh inning. Good game here between the first place and last place teams. Dewey Adkins now the uh, hitter here for the Cubs. And he quickly has a 2-0 count on him and swings and misses a 1-2-1. and one. Ground ball left side. Kerr has that one on to first for the out. One gone. Hank Edwards. Edwards up, one away. Takes a ball. Hits that to left field, and that uh, drops in front of Lockman. So that's another hit for the Cubs. They have nine today. Herman Reich up there now. And uh, takes the strike, 0-1. Oh There's another strike on him, 0-2 oh the count. Keep throwing over to first. We're not doing anything. And, uh, oh, man, good heavens. That's a uh, flare over to uh, center field. Actually, Rigney goes over and grabs that one. Excellent catch by him, and he throws to first base and gets the double play. And the question is, what in the world is Edwards doing? We didn't have a hit and run going, and um, he just decided uh, to, you know, that that was going to fall in no matter what. I don't think he was looking at all. Really, really bad base running, and that uh, results in kind of an unusual double play. And so we go to the top of the eighth inning. And um, the Cubs are just running themselves out of this. This is a 1-1 ball game. This is a close game. Marshall, uh, first batter, hits a ground ball to Ramazzotti, third baseman, goes to first, one away. Bill Rigney now takes a ball. 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 today. 2-0 and 0 now on him. That's fouled, uh, foul tipped back. It's 2-1, and 1, and there's ball 3. 3-1 three and 1 the count. There's strike 2, full count now on Bill. And ball 4 is called, and that's not good for Atkins, and uh, that means Sid Gordon's up. This is a clutch moment of this game. So runner on at first base, top of the eighth inning. There's a ball high to Gordon, 1-0. and That's fouled back, 1-1 and the count. That's a base hit to center field by Gordon, and uh, Rigney is going to go to third base. I think we're going to try to get him. And he is called safe. So Gordon is uh, able to uh, come through with that one, and uh, that makes this uh, runners on at first and third uh, for the Giants with one out here in the uh, top of the eighth inning. Uh, I was starting to wonder if uh, maybe you know the Giants' uh, good luck was going to come to an end here, um, but uh, I should um, know better, and uh, I should know better because um, they've been uh, they've been very very good so far this season, and it seems that every single time the game uh, comes it comes down to you know some sort of uh, need for a clutch hit or something, they're always there. Um, you know, I know that uh, in the world of uh, saber metrics, when we talk about this stuff, we talk about how it's impossible to quantify um, clutch hitting. Um, although I will say that um, it's uh, pretty easy to quantify it when you see a team that's winning a lot of games, especially if they're not supposed to. That's what's kind of happening here. There's a ground ball over from Bobby Thompson over to second base. Verbon has the question is throw home or go for a double play. Let's go over the double play here. So he goes to second for one on to first, and that's too late, and that scores the run. Two to one now the score. Um, and I think that um, there's uh, there's an argument that you could have um, uh, you could have gone either way with that one, and um, uh, that uh, you know I thought for sure maybe that was a hit uh, quickly enough to be a double play. Looks like it was hit a little bit slower than I thought, and so uh, you know it's not exactly you know. Um, uh, driving the ball all over the park, um, but uh, the uh, Giants have gone ahead uh, two to one late in this ball game, and Johnny Mize up next. And what do they do? They steal second base with Bobby Thompson. <laughs> this is the last thing in the world you'd imagine um, them uh, wanting to do. Thompson actually eleven uh, stolen bases against five uh, times caught in real life. He's uh, perfect in diamond mind so far. Two stolen bases and two attempts. There's a ball to Mize one and one now. It's fouled away one and two. That's fouled back again, one and two. The count remains. And uh, there's a uh, check swing. He didn't go around. That'll make it two and two now. Mize 0 for 2 today. And the count is full as that one just missed. So Adkins starting to tire here, and that's off the black for ball four. And that brings up Whitey Lockman. And the question now is, do we stick with Dewey or uh, or, or Dewey? 
um, I think we're going to take Adkins out because he's really, really starting to struggle, and you can you can just see it in the uh, play-by-play. I think McLish will come back in. So Cal McLish is going to be the guy that we'll put in here for the Cubs. We'll have him bat in that number nine hole. Uh, runners on a first and second, two outs, top of the eighth, and the first thing that McLish does is he comes and uncorks a wild pitch. That pitch um, was off of Novotny's glove, went all the way back to the backstop. That was way outside, and um, I I do think that uh, they're right to charge that to the pitcher. So McLish comes in, throws a wild pitch right off the bat. Runners now on second and third for the Giants, and there's a ball down and in, 2-0 and on Whitey Lockman, and there's a uh, strike in their breaking ball, 2-1. and one. Ground ball into the hole. Smalley has it, throws to first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. The uh, Giants, or the Cubs, able to weather that storm, sort of. 2 1 Giants, and here's Penis Lowry. Lowry, one for three, and he hits a little ground uh, ground ball past uh, Jones, the pitcher. It eludes him barely, and that ends up being a base hit. And um, I'm not sure how that was a base hit or where that one went, uh, but it gets by the pitcher. So interesting play by play there. And. Um, uh, that means uh, Lowry now is the runner on a first base. Here's Andy Pafko with uh, one on. We'll do some hit and run. Let's see what happens here. Ground ball over to shortstop, and uh, they throw over to first base to take care of Pafko. It's going to be uh, Kerr who uh, fielded that one and threw to first. So uh, a runner on a second base quickly for the Cubs here um, after only two pitches in the bottom of the eighth inning. Um, and uh, Pafko... Um, does his job and uh, gets the hit and run uh, hit or hit and run ground ball. Roy Smalley up now, and uh, there's two chances for the Cubs to tie it. Smalley uh, chases one low, 0 and 1. That's outside, 1 and 1 on Roy. 1 and 2 as he swung on a missed again. That's upstairs, 2 and 2. That's outside, full count now on Roy. And he swings and misses that one and he uh, strikes out. So, second strikeout here for Sheldon Jones. That'll bring up Emil Verban. Runner still on second base, and uh, Verbon promptly hits one over to left center field. Bobby Thompson goes back and gets it. So he had one of those four hitters for the Cubs who tried to do uh, something with it by working the count. Everybody else's first ball swinging. We have Walker Cooper here top of the ninth. Cooper takes a strike and a ball, one and one. Sliders wide, two and one. Ground ball to uh, first base. Uh, Reich uh, beats Cooper to the bag, uh, one away. Buddy Kerr takes a strike. And hits a little fly ball left field. Lowry comes in on that one, dives for it, and makes the shoestring catch. Two gone. Here's Sheldon Jones. He stays in the game. Takes a strike. 0-1. Breaking ball, breaking ball is wide. 1-1. One one. Another uh, ground ball to Reich at first. And uh, he flips over to McLish, covering at the bag. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It'll be Ma- Bob uh, Ramazzotti. we got to have somebody we can hit for these guys. I mean, these are this is a pretty pathetic-looking bunch, I would say. Um, and I think Gene Mock is going to come in uh, for Ramazzotti, at least a pinch head. We'll, we'll see what happens if, the, if we tie it. There's a little ground ball into the hole left side for a base hit. So Mock ends up over on first base, and um, he represents the potential tying run. So just like that, again, first ball swinging. I've said that, uh, said that already today. First ball swinging as usual by the Cubs. This time it results in a, a base hit by Gene Mock. Runner on at first is Mach, and uh, the question is, do you take out uh, Novotny, or do you have him bunt? Uh, he can't even bunt that well, so we'll take him out. Um, we're going to put in Smokey Burgess, who's going to end up uh, being the catcher here. So Burgess comes in. He also can't bunt that well, but um, that's the Cubs for you. Takes the ball inside, 1-0. and Throw to first, nothing doing. 1-0 and the count. That's high, 2-0. and On the inside corner, it's 2-1 and in Smokey. There's a pop-up third base line out of play, 2-2. Two and two. That's popped up left side, and Kerr has that, the uh, shortstop. One away. Here's uh, Cal McLish. And we're going to go back to the bench again. And, I mean, so we can't use Rube Walker, who's tired, and we don't want to use him anyway. I'm thinking probably Jeff Coat. So it's going to be Jeff Coat here. Three pinch hitters in a row for the Cubs. Runner on at first, one away. That's ball low to Jeff Coat. And next pitch is hit past the pitcher for a base hit, and uh, Mach um, is uh, going to hold at second instead of uh, taking a chance on that one. We don't want to get him thrown out. So runners on first and second now, and here comes uh, Edwards once again. Edwards is two for three today, and this is a real chance for the Cubs. So the Cubs um, have a chance to really make something happen here. Bottom of the ninth inning, runners on a first and second, one out. Both runners fairly quick. Of Edwards swing away first, and that's popped up in the air to center field. Kerr has that for the outs, the shortstop, so two gone. And here's Herman Reich, two away. <laughs> He's over three, 
And that's a bouncer down the first base line. Mice has that and runs to first base, beats him to the bag for the out. So the Giants stay in first place. There's still three and a half on top of the Pirates, who uh, have uh, no hit the competition. It's still not good enough to move up in the standings. And the Cubs are the Cubs. This is the real Cubs, man. Good heavens. 2-1 the final score. Cubs out hit the Giants 12-7, to but um, it's... Uh, <laughs> It doesn't matter in the end, does it? Uh, Final score again, 2-1 Giants. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.